Money Summer signing to start the match. And Walter Smith gave youth its chance in the shape of 19-year-old midfielder Barry Ferguson. But it was Kevin Drinkle's side who almost took a shock lead, Steve McCormick with a free header. But the champions soon settled into the rhythm with some nice one-touch passing. The break of the ball let Gordon Jury in here. But Mark McEwen got down well to block the effort. Sixty seconds later though, Jury's persistence paid off as he opened the scoring. Eric Bo Anderson burst through the defence. He squared it to Jury. And it was 1-0 Rangers. Jury looking very sharp, out to prove that the Scots still have a part to play in the new era at Ibrox. Still one or two defensive worries though, Gary Patterson climbing above Perini, Moore and Vidmar. But the difference in class was clear to see, perfectly illustrated by Rangers' second goal. A real team effort this one, almost every player involved in the build-up, as the ball was switched from one end of the pitch to the other. Oh, yeah. Jury released McCoy down the right. And his superb cross was met by Bo Anderson. This was the Danes' first full 90 minutes since February, and he's determined to feature more prominently over the coming months. A couple of minutes later, Bo Anderson returned the favour as he picked out Ali McCoist. In the end though, not one of Ali's better finishes. The miss of the match mantle though was soon being passed on from Mr McCoist to Mr Miller. Jury involved again here. He released Perini at the byline. Charlie Miller from five yards. And the young midfielder knew that should have been number three. And that proved to be Miller's final contribution as he was replaced by Stal Stensas at half-time. Stensas, another one who sat out last night's European tie due to suspension. With Vidmar at left-back, the Norwegian was pushed forward into midfield and he almost made an immediate impact. Gordon Jury, the man there who couldn't capitalise from the rebound. Now at this stage, Ali McCoy wasn't in the score sheet, but he still appeared to be enjoying the afternoon. Poor control here from Ali. And a typical McCoy's reaction, much to the amusement of the sellout crowd and the Rangers bench. Well, Gary Bolin, Peter Van Vossen and young Paul McKnight were all introduced midway through the second half. Here Van Vossen sets up McCoist. But again, Ali couldn't produce the finish. And it proved to be one of those days for Ali. Plenty of opportunities, but the veteran striker just couldn't find the net. At least Ali saw the funny side of things. Now any Rangers fans who left the ground early to avoid the rush will be kicking themselves as Walter Smith's men scored three times in the final five minutes. Bo Anderson got his second and Rangers third. Van Vossen the man doing the spade work to set up the Dane. The Dutchman then turned scorer to grab Jair's fourth of the afternoon with the pick of the bunch. Van Vossen desperate to shake off the tag as the forgotten foreigner of Ibrox. A minute before time, Bo Anderson completed his hat-trick with a little help from McCoyst and Stensas.
So a stroll in the sun for Rangers, but a worthwhile exercise for the players and management team as they gear up for the new season. Recognisable as well. 